So I've been thinking about doing a video on what horror is and um, this is it. So welcome to the video. Um, really lame start to this video so I apologise. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm really interested in what people think of as the defining attributes of any genre, right? So, uh, for example, some genres, some categories of, of, of film or literature are easily identifiable, right? Um, for example, we can easily, on the face of it, uh, identify a western because it's set in the Old West. Um, we can easily define, obviously, a musical because there are songs throughout the the film performed by the the actors and actresses so some genres seem to be really easy to define now when you, when it comes to horror or any of the other fantasy genres science fiction or science fantasy anything like that it gets a little bit more difficult to actually define what it actually is now, the most basic, um, the most basic definition that I can think of is obviously that horror horrifies. Now, I, I talked about this in another video. You know that the idea, in fact, I think it was a response to the cinephiles, where I mentioned that um, one of the uh, hosts of that show, I think it was Eric, had mentioned that that um, you know horror doesn't have to be scary. Now, if we look at something like um, like a film I just reviewed recently, which was uh, Quaidan, right? Now, it's not a scary film. It doesn't scare you. But I would definitely put it within the horror genre. So, it gets quite complicated to actually sort of define what we're really talking about. And what I think happens is that you start off with a base definition, right? So, as I mentioned, for horror, it's that horror horrifies. It creates a sense of horror in the audience. Um, that's a basic definition. Now, there are problems with that definition because, for example, films about human tragedy or films about, you know, say things like war, etc., can also create a sense of horror in the audience, I mean, you have a sense of horror when you're watching something like Schindler's List, but it's, you wouldn't say it's a horror film, you know. Um, so, it would be incredibly disrespectful to call it uh, as such. But anyway, um, so it's, it's broad, broadly speaking, it's a film that horrifies. It's often attached to the fantastic so monsters, a supernatural element. Um, however, as things progressed, I think in the beginning we had things, you know, stories that were born out of nightmarish fairy tales that, that became horror fiction. And in the beginning we could easily identify horror because, like I say, it had a supernatural or monstrous element to it, like Nosferatu or something like that. Um, and then as time went on, the, f the, the genre sort of changed. There were, there were films that you could argue were horror films, but didn't have a supernatural element to them. You know, you take something like Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, um, there's no supernatural element there, and there's no suggestion of it either, but it's very much a horror film. And so... The, I don't know, it's like a, a difficult thing to define. I think as time goes on, after they define that, you know, horror horrifies, then the supernatural element attached to it. And then, um, I think that genres then pick up, like, uh, traits. They pick up conventions. Things that you associate with that genre. Now, for example, the jump out scare, you associate the jump out scare with uh, horror, you know, you don't really see it in other genres, um, but 
you could put a jump out scare in a film that's not a horror film, you know, something that just like jolts the audience. But normally it's sort of used and often seen as like a cheap trick um, by directors to get a jump out of the audience. Um, so they pick up conventions. You may find something like um, uh, other conventions that are maybe more setting based, like perhaps sort of dark, gloomy environments, like a lot of the haunted house uh, genres, uh, sub genres, sorry. Um, and also, I think if you take into account the uh, <coughs> the scores used in the films, they sort of developed a, a a style of their own, which was attached to to, to horror, um, very much in a things in a you know a minor key. Or um, if you look at like John Carpenter's Halloween, it's uh, got a, a, an unusual rhythmic pattern to it. Something that unsettles the audience because they don't even if they don't have much of a musical knowledge it, they know something's not quite normal about it so I think yeah that, that you, so you start off with, with the, the central idea of, of what the genre is and then it develops conventions and then you attach those conventions to the genre now I mentioned westerns which is quite interesting because there are films that are definitely westerns I know I keep talking about John Carpenter, but I saw on Precinct 13, you know, is def definitely a Western. Um, Escape from New York is definitely a Western. But they're not set in the Old West. But they have the conventions that were attached to that genre that only started out as stories about the Old West and set in the Old West. So, um, I think, to me, the horror genre, therefore, is something that's like, well, it has its conventions, it's something that's always evolving. Um, I think sometimes maybe at the moment it's not evolving so fast because we don't have a lot of like, really, really great horror directors, at least in the West anyway, or, or directors that are getting much of a chance. But I think people come up with new things and um, <clears throat> then all of a sudden you see them on you know across the board or in the genre. So what do you guys think about, about horror? What, what defines it for you? Um, I guess what I'm asking because it's something that any genre I think is really difficult to define and I think if you boil all genres down in the end it doesn't really matter about the the sort of type of film like horror or comedy or whatever it's actually what's more important are the themes that are explored because you can explore one theme in a variety of different genres so therefore you can connect all of them and I think that becomes much more important than the actual genre itself um, so what do you guys think what defines horror for you and what do you think about categorizing films is it a good thing or you know are we in situations where films have like a broad series of different genres and, and, and are all sort of mixed up and there's no really any point in actually saying something's a horror or something's comedy or whatever what do you guys think bit of a messy video I apologize